Meet Stefan Josie Davis, a young armored car driver who dreamt of one day becoming a police officer. But one simple traffic stop changed his life and probably shattered that dream, all for being honest about his legally owned gun. Try us right now is Stefan Josie Davis. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, sir. Take us back. Two years ago, you are out in your garage cleaning your gun. You worked for an armored car company as a driver, so you had a gun. Correct. Correct. What happened? That morning, I was in my house. I was getting my firearm out of my uh, safe, mm -hmm. and I made my way to my car, to the garage. I was trying to disarm my firearm. My little sister did come into the, uh, into the garage. When she came in, she kind of startled me, so I did place the firearm in the glove compartment momentarily just to assist her and take her back upstairs. Right. Had a mental lapse. Uh, it was you just, forgot the gun was in there? Yes, basically. Okay, then you're out on the road, and what happens? I was out on the road that, uh, that evening, and um, a police officer stopped me for a traffic violation, saying that my registration was expired. Okay. Due to the fact of my registration being expired, I did reach for my credentials. Oh, and you're thinking, it's it, the registration's in the glove compartment? Yes. That's where the gun is. So you told the cop what? I told the, uh, told the police officer that my firearm was in the glove compartment. I told him who I worked for. I told him I had my firearms ID card on me, and I didn't have my work ID on me at the time. Everything checked out. They, okay. they took the firearm. They let me go. They gave me a ticket for my registration and my insurance card, and they said... Just come down on Monday and you can get your, get your firearm. Right. Well, you went back on Monday and you were in big trouble. They put you in handcuffs. Why? They put me in handcuffs because they said I was being charged with unlawful possession of a firearm, which is a second-degree felony. Wait, wait a minute. You own the firearm legally? I own the firearm legally. I did go through the background investigations, and the police department that was in the process of hiring me is the one who issued me my credentials to obtain a firearm. You were in trouble because the glove was considered concealed because it was in your glove compartment. Yes. And in New Jersey, you get in really big trouble for that, don't you? Yes. Okay. Um, the, where does this case stand right now? Because it seems like you were trying to do the right thing. You told the police officer, you know, that's my gun. It's legally registered yes. right there in that uh, because I work for this company. Yes. But the cop's hands are tied. At one point, they were starting to adjudicate it, and you took a plea deal because you were going to wind up in prison. Yes, I took the plea deal because I was thinking about my family. I have a, uh, a good supportive family at home, and to face 10 years in prison and with a mandatory of five years, it was just, it's just unconstitutional and it's draconian the way they treat people in the state of New Jersey, like Shanine Allen, Brian Aikens. We all are legally owned gun owners that right. come from good families, good support systems, right. and we're, we become felons for yeah, this. Uh, you've wound up, uh, you took probation rather than going to prison, but you've got this felony. You want to be a police officer. Who can help you? Uh, well, all the, all the gun owners in the state of New Jersey, everybody that's been supporting me can help me. You know, everybody that's, pu that's pushing to get this out there, everybody's been helping to do that all over the nation. Well, let's see what happens. It, it doesn't seem quite fair. Thank you, sir. But it's uh, quite a case people are going to be talking about. Stefan Josie Davis, we thank you very much. Thank you, sir.